Okay, so this is the setup of the question that um, Brett is kicking the ball at um, this location here at 18 metres per second, an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal. He'll kick it and it will land at the same height before Peter catches it. So when we um, split the uh, initial velocity up into its horizontal component and vertical component, we get 18 cos 35 for the horizontal and 18 sine 35 for the vertical. Now when we... <coughs> Pardon me. When we look at all the data for the horizontal and the vertical um, parts of the motion, all we know for the horizontal side of things is that its initial velocity and therefore its constant horizontal velocity is 14.74. We don't know the range and we don't know the time. On the vertical side of things, we know the initial vertical velocity is uh, 18 sine 35. We know that its vertical displacement is zero because it ends up at the same height as it, it left at. We know the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 um, meters per second per second down. We don't know the time. So on this side, there's one unknown, which is the time. On the horizontal part of the things, we have two unknowns. So we're going to look at the vertical side of the motion first. So what we'll do is we'll plug this data here into S equals UT plus half AT squared. We'll do some maths and solve with the value of T. Then we'll substitute that value over here, and that will give us... Um, Oh no, we only want to find out the time, don't we? It's part B, we'll ask, um, this is how we work out part B, we'll work out the uh, range or the, the horizontal displacement.